Thanks, Haley. Let's go ahead and transition over to our forecast. It's been a pretty nice day today. Now we had to deal with mostly clouds throughout the day, but we did see a few breaks in the clouds since the afternoon, so we saw a little bit of sunshine. But when you look at our hot temperatures today, we mainly moderated right around the 30s. You look at our average temperature for this time of year, 42 degrees. We've been above that for quite some time, really, this winter season. But guess what? This is going to go up tomorrow. It's actually going to go up to 43 degrees tomorrow. Your average low will go up to 27. So that shows we're going to start rising that average temperature as we keep persisting through the winter season. Now, overall, you look at our recent hot temperatures, you can see we've kind of moderated right around average over these past few days, really. And today, really the low spot. Remember, we started the week in the 20s with that colder air surging in for Martin Luther King Jr. Day in into Tuesday. But luckily, we've stayed right around average the last couple of days. And when you look at our wind speeds, you can see we're mainly out of the north and west. Winds have been pretty gusty, but not as gusty as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, really. But overall, it's dealing with generally a 5 to 10 miles per hour wind speed here. And that wind out of the northwest is keeping us cool, keeping us right around the mid 30s, but also keeping us cool as the clouds, obviously not seeing much sunshine. We're not going to rise those temperatures up too much, but overall temperatures are pretty much right around where they were yesterday. Yesterday we were right around the mid 30s, and when you, you look at our 24 hour temperature change, temperatures are pretty much right around where they were at this time yesterday. So overall, like I said, pretty nice day. Just we haven't really had to deal with any precipitation. We saw a few snow flurries early this morning and it didn't really amount to nothing, but another week of low pressure system will push through tonight. It'll kind of be like we saw last night where we saw a few snow flurries, but we'll see a little bit of rain mix in with this system. Overall, a few clouds over the area. You can still see on our satellite and radar. You look off to our west, a very weak low pressure system over Tennessee and the Kentucky. It's going to push in. It's got enough moisture with it to create some rain and snow showers as we go into tonight. But you look south, we won't have to deal with the widespread rain. We'll just have to deal with the lighter showers up through here. But the Gulf states, will they'll have to deal with the the heavier rain. Now overall, we're going to stay pretty unsettled as we go through tonight and into your Monday. Scattered rain and snow tonight, and that will persist through your Monday as well, even into your Monday afternoon. It's just more widespread, though. Rain is going to stay to the south. Now overall, you look at our future cast. Here's our moisture. You can see we'll freeze this. You can see right around 9 o'clock in the morning, most of the widespread rain south of Highway 460. As we go into the afternoon, we see more scattered rain and snow showers into the afternoon. I think most spots are going to see more rain than anything, but we could definitely see some snow mix in in the higher elevations. And then as we go into Tuesday, we dry out, but we still have to keep up with a lot of cloud cover. We're not going to see much sun this week until we really get into Tuesday afternoon, maybe into your Wednesday and Thursday when we'll start seeing those clouds break. Let's break it down on future cast, kind of zoom in here. Overall temperatures right now in the mid 30s. They'll stay in the mid 30s through the evening hours and overnight with all the cloud cover. A few scattered rain and snow showers showing up as we go overnight tonight, even into your Monday morning could see more widespread rain and snow showers towards the south. Now increasing clouds tonight, scattered rain and snow showers overall. But when you go through your Monday, we'll see mostly clouds, a few scattered rain and snow showers into the afternoon. Temperatures mainly in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then going into tonight, into tomorrow night, we continue to see more drying out. We keep up with the clouds, however, Tuesdays when we begin to dry things out completely with just clouds sticking around. Overall, scattered rain and snow showers through the day tomorrow. It'll just be one of those pesky days where we have to deal with those pesky showers. Not the well, not a washout entirely, though. Saturday, we'll have to monitor this system. It's still seven to ten days out, so we'll just have to keep recognizing the pattern and looking at the models. It's staying pretty inconsistent as we go into the weekend. Right now, just a rain and snow chance as we go into next weekend. Overall, pretty seasonable week and staying mainly dry as we go through midweek, Haley. All right. Any chance that rain's going to turn into ice on the roads? I don't. I don't expect much ice, especially with temperatures moderating right around the mid 30s. But you know, those higher elevations, those cooler spots above 3,000 feet, they could see some slick spots in the morning. Hey. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you, Brandon. No problem. Absolutely.